The Project Japan. The craftsmanship in the Japanese construction industry. The high level of technology that now underlines Japanese construction goes back hundreds of years. The modern art of manufacturing with a focus on the future is attracting attention from around the world. At the same time, a major challenge in Japan now is the recruitment and training of construction industry workers. Because of the shrinking population, the number of construction related workers is declining. According to data released in 2015, that number was forecast to drop by more than 1.2 million over the following decade. As the population falls, there will be increasing competition across industries to secure workers. Another challenge is how to improve productivity within the construction industry. We need to be able to manufacture many more things with fewer people than we have now. It's all about improving productivity. Currently, the Japanese Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism is leading an effort to promote eye construction and driving various initiatives. There are growing moves to apply cutting edge technology such as robots and artificial intelligence. AI. In the private sector, more and more companies are bringing robots and AI into construction sites. But using just one type of robot or one type of technology doesn't necessarily lead to a dramatic improvement in productivity. Construction involves many processes. So it's vital to figure out how to raise the overall productivity. We believe that many different efforts will help raise productivity on construction sites. There is one company that has been taking on the challenges of the worker shortage and raising productivity. By proactively pursuing innovations. That company is Shimizu Corporation, one of the biggest general contractors in Japan. Shimizu has been developing a next generation production system called Shimizu Smart Site. Utilizing data from three dimensional models of buildings or building information modeling. Robots equipped with artificial intelligence automatically transport materials. And carry out difficult and repetitive work. This system aims to enhance productivity on construction sites. So, what was the concept behind the development of Shimizu Smart Site? We started developing a next generation construction manufacturing system for people and robots to collaborate. We began by analyzing the production methods of people. The work that people do is field work. Managing that work is intelligent work. And construction methods most suitable for robots and materials are called structure. We've been modifying the construction system by developing these three key pillars. Workers will be reluctant to use a system if robots won't move unless we give them instruction or guide them. Our first priority was to make robots move and find their own position autonomously and to think on their own about which direction to go. The biggest advantage is that we work together with people on construction sites to develop a system with functions. That are very easy for them to use. So, what kinds of robots help support workers on construction sites? This is called a robo carrier and it transports heavy materials such as ceiling boards horizontally. Using a tablet computer and entering the material to be transported and the destination. The robot carries the materials from the material storage site to the elevators. 
It coordinates with other robo-carriers to take the materials to the designated location. By carrying out the transport work at night when there are no workers, workers are able to get to work right away the following day. This is called RoboBuddy. It attaches ceiling boards. The double-armed robot uses one arm to lift the heavy boards and the other arm to screw them in. By using a robot to carry out back-breaking work that requires a person to stay in an upward posture for a long time, they can enhance work efficiency and reduce labor. And this is called Robo-Welder. It welds structures such as beams. It autonomously detects sections that haven't been welded and carries out welding work. With a robot doing this work that requires a high level of skill, they're able to carry out uniform and highly precise welding. In addition to these three types of robots, Shimizu is currently testing a robot that installs raised floors and plans to put it to work at construction sites. Shimizu estimates that applying Shimizu Smart Site to a 34 building with a standard floor area of 3,000 square meters will reduce labor by 75% or 2,700 people for lifting and transport work, 78% or 2,100 people for ceiling and floor work, and 79% or 1,150 people for beam welding work. That means about 6,000 fewer workers will be needed in total. Shimizu SmartSite, which utilizes robotics technology, has already been adopted at Shimizu construction sites, achieving good results. The robots have been put to work for a big development project called Yokohama Minato Mirai 21 and at a hotel construction site near Shin Osaka Station. Every time we apply the system to actual sites, all kinds of things happen, and the feedback is a goldmine for us. With every setback, we solve issues and perfect the system. We've already reached a completion level of 98%, nearly 100%. The types of materials and pallets that can be handled are also increasing, and we're coming to a stage where we can properly respond to the demands of construction sites. There are different construction technologies according to the times. On the one hand, we carry on the technologies built up until now. On the other hand, we replace them with these robots or nurture people who can handle the technologies of the robots. We want to evolve by employing various methods. Robots are called buddies, since we hope to build a construction industry where they can truly become our partners. Shimizu has made a commitment to driving innovation in the construction industry. But they believe that simply adopting robots on construction sites won't solve issues such as the worker shortage and enhancing productivity. This is Shimizu's Monozukuri Training Center. It's a practical training facility aimed at cultivating young engineers. It's a place for employee training, but we also have practical actual size mock-ups. They're physical mock-ups, so through practical training and getting employees to see, touch and do things, we can improve their technical skills and raise their level of education. While it is a technical training facility, we also want them to learn the philosophy and spirit of this industry and engage in manufacturing from these two aspects. The adoption of IT and robots 
is a pressing issue, and we're aggressively addressing that. But ultimately, things are made with human strength. What's more, the people involved aren't only our employees, but those of partnering companies. Understanding that things are made through the strengths of everyone, we want people from partnering companies to also use this facility. We want to raise the competitive level of everyone working with Shimizu and believe that's a very crucial challenge for us. While driving innovation on construction sites with cutting-edge technologies, Shimizu is also aiming to nurture people who carry out manufacturing. Mr. Indo says the construction industry, which faces issues such as worker shortages and the need to increase productivity, also needs to become a field that attracts people. This isn't about just raising our own productivity. It's essential that the entire industry uses systems such as Shimizu Smart Site. By doing so, the entire construction industry will be able to draw in and attract young people and become an attractive industry.